Good morning, oil traders. It is Friday, July 21st at 8.33 a.m. Eastern. So we're just shy of an hour ahead of East Coast North American markets opening. And as you can see, we've taken a dive. Um, of course, this is after <laughs> I've sold my, my short yesterday um, for a two and a quarter percent. So had I held on, um, I could have doubled that return. Uh, assuming, of course, that we stay where we are um, right now, which is about 46 and a half. Um, I don't rule out the fact that we could bounce back up ahead of open, um, and I don't rule out the fact that we might bounce back up simply in uh, intraday trading. Uh, so, you know, I, I do have some temptation to buy long um, at the open, and uh, but I'm, I'm going to resist that urge and uh, wait for Europe um, to make any decision whatsoever. Uh, today is one of those days where something dramatic could happen. Um, I know that it's not typical for Fridays to see um, heavy action, but we do have the OPEC meeting uh, coming up next week. And if we look at the seven day chart here, you can see that we've been climbing since uh, July 18th um, pretty rapidly and this is the first time that we've seen this pullback so this was uh, this first pullback was uh, yesterday and this second pullback um, is what's happening right now ahead of uh, East Coast markets open so it's really the first stop and where we're stuck right now you can see is is a is a huge resistance level going back from uh, mid-July so uh, about a week ago, last week. So, you know, it's very possible. It's not, it's not unrealistic to think that we're going to see 45 um, today um, or even lower. That being said, uh, I don't, like I said before, I don't rule out the fact that we might bounce back up before we dive, um, whether we dive today or next week um, before the meeting, who knows? Your guess is as good as mine as always, 50-50 as I said. Um, that being said, expect a lot of volatility and play accordingly. Uh, you know, you don't want to get stuck, well, kind of like I am in some situations, um, making too heavy a bet in any particular direction. So with all that being said, I, I'm going to allow the morning to transpire however it wants to go about it and wait for Europe to close at 11.30 a.m. Eastern at minimum. Uh, I may wait longer than that, depending on where we sit at that time. Uh, but I'm gonna give the traders at least a couple of hours after the open at 9.30 to kind of figure out what it is that's going to happen today. Um, if we end up at or, at or below 46, then I'll, I'm tempted to buy long there. Um, simply not because I necessarily think that we're going to go back up today on a bounce, um, but it's low enough that there could be an opportunity uh, in a upward reversal early next week that basically I'd, I'd want to profit from. And it's, big, it's a big enough gap from my existing long position at 47.30 that it makes sense um, as a portfolio holding. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. That being said, I would much prefer that long to be situated somewhere closer to 45, uh, but that might be too greedy today, unless we drop. Uh, my shorts are, I have three, so you can find more information on my portfolio here. As you can see, I've got three short positions. And those short positions equate to, or at least the closest two, equate to crude prices of 46.30 and 45.20. Um, so we're just above my closest short. So if we do tank today, it's a possibility that I'll be selling at least one, if not two short positions, depending on how hard we do drop. Um, so as you can see, kind of, I'm thinking about both directions and how to play it. Uh, I expect volatility and being close to the mid 45s now, it's an opportunity to play both sides. Um, ultimately, as I've said before, I do expect us to see 42 before we see 45, so I am bearish overall. 
um, but that doesn't mean I don't want to profit from a long position here or there. So that's my thinking. I'd love to hear what you guys have in mind. Um, hit me up down below on the comments in YouTube, or uh, like I said, check me out on tradingjournal.ca uh, where you can find more information on my, my portfolio results, such as the result from yesterday, and charts. And uh, until then, I'll check back with you guys towards the end of trading at 4 p.m. Eastern today. And uh, until then, good luck. Cheers.